Hey, welcome to this broadcast. I'm so glad you're catching this video. Uh, my name is Katherine Webster and I'm a voice teacher. I teach online voice lessons and um, I'm also in a music group called The Listening Wall. Hey to Chad who's joining from Copperhead Highway. I am loving the weather today. It is so nice. The breeze is blowing. It's overcast. I'm a little sad because I won't get to see the super moon tonight. Or it's not a super moon. The uh, blood moon, harvest moon. So I'm a little bummed about that, but that's okay. What's up? So it's a good day here. I'm uh, thinking about goals today because it's Sunday. And once Monday gets cranking, things just seem to roll on like a freight train. So let's talk about some goals that we can make this week um, and if you feel like this would be applicable to anybody you know please share it with them because I'm here my goal is that I am here to help you I'm here to help singers vocalists musicians bands hey my cousin's on hey Kevin I'm glad you're here um, my goal is to help musicians and bands to Honestly, let's do this. Let's work our goals, get to where we need to go, and do this because we have the power to understand how to use our voices. Thanks for inviting followers, Kevin. I appreciate it. Hey, y'all, um, if you want to follow a fantastic photographer, Kevin is your gal for that. She's awesome. I love looking at your photos. Kind of a stalker that way. <laughs> um, but uh, hey, guys, welcome for joining. Um, all right, so we're going to talk about goals. So as musicians, hi there, thanks for joining. So as musicians, we're going to have different goals each week. Maybe one week it's to, to learn a new song or to create a new song. Um, maybe it's to create different beats um, or to try and find venues to play in. Whatever your goal is, first of all write it down that is the most important thing is to write it down then i want you to write down three ways you can make that goal happen this week and who are some folks who can help you to attain that goal because we can't do it by ourselves we've got to have a community to help us so one of my goals this week is to check around to different venues in uh, in my state and to see if I can play there. It'd be fun just to get out and play. Doesn't matter if it pays a lot. It's just great to go out and meet new people and to gain some new tribe members. And that's that's the great thing. It's, it's cool to hang out online and to meet people because how would I ever meet you guys if it wasn't for Periscope? I love it. This platform is great. So... Um, okay, so we're going to make goals and let's put down like three goals for this week that we want to accomplish. Attainable goals. Then we're going to write down three ways we can attack each goal um, with joy and a couple of people who can help us get there. And uh, maybe it's just encouragement from a great friend um, or family member. You know, it's, it's great. We are not alone and you don't have to be alone on this journey in life. So... Um, and musically, hey, we want to have fun. We want to have fun and we really want to engage our audience. So if there's any musicians here, um, I'd love to know what you're working on this week. And I'd love to know um, what kind of genre you're in. Um, the way that I teach, and uh, Chad can attest to this, who's on here, um, I work with individuals and I work to their genre so and we work on skills that are um, the fundamentals and then you can slip those into whatever genre you're in that's what I love about music and singing in particular is that these fundamentals go I mean that you can like copy and paste them into your genre so if you want power learn the fundamentals of technique if you want an increased range use the fundamentals of technique and we're always learning I'm still learning but that's why I love to teach because I never want to hold in what I've learned um, and that's why I love watching other scopes I thought a lot I thought about my head a lot on stage last night Ella good good I hope it was a great performance Chad oh my goodness that's awesome um, yes and I love it. I love the energy of getting on a stage and 
you that moment right before you start singing where you get to engage with the audience and they have no idea what to expect but yes and I have a huge show coming up in uh, November on November 21st y'all write this down if you're in the area if you're on this side of the coast in Georgia uh, November 21st um, the vinyl at center stage got a huge show so Chad you should totally come it's gonna be awesome um, and we're playing with this group that's like a steampunk band oh my gosh I'm so excited it's gonna be so fun so anyways um, but let's set those goals this week um, and I'm gonna write mine up uh, this evening and um, I'll share them on Twitter and uh, so yeah let's do this together I'm really excited about it. It's I, I, it's going to be the biggest show um, of the Listening Walls this year, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping to pack out the place, so that's the goal. Um, yeah, but this week um, we're going to talk more about technique that can help you as a vocalist reach your goals, and even if you're like if if you speak at work, these are going to help you. Um, these techniques. So I'm all about let's make it easy to speak. Let's make it easy to sing, and you know let's protect our our fragile vocal folds. Um, I've known too many young folks who have had to have surgery. Um, one was even in college when she had vocal nodes and had to have surgery. So that's why I want everybody to be really safe and take care of your health and take care of yourself. And if we make goals, then that shows that we really are caring about our bodies and about our health. And, uh, and we care about our business because even if you are a musician and you um, play out like once or twice a month, this is your business. This is a part of your income. And you can do it in, a, in an amazing way where you're having fun and your voice is incredible. You wake up the next morning and you feel great. There's no fatigue. Um, it's amazing. So maybe your vocal goal this week is um, to drink your allotted amount of water. Um, maybe your goal this week is to get enough sleep because all that stuff plays into, plays into it. Maybe your goal this week is to play a show that's a little bit out of your comfort zone. I don't know, but I love music, I love singing, and I know that you guys love music too because music is a part of everything in our world. Movies, TV shows, part of everything. I love it. Um, so, ah, shaky hand, sorry. <sighs> that's a lot of talking. I don't know how everybody does this for like 30 minutes, <laughs> but uh, what are you guys up to today? Anybody doing anything fun today? I think I'm about to mow the lawn. It is getting high, like the grass is getting high up in here. And Jake is taking a nap. My husband's taking a nap, so yeah. Out with my kids watching the train. Oh, how fun! Oh my gosh, trains are so much fun. New Jersey. Oh, do you have a train museum there? I used to live in a town called Duluth and they had a big train museum that was really fun. So I love trains. And I there's um I thought there was something that said there's a five hundred dollar train ride across the country. Built a fire pit about to roast marshmallows. Oh, I'm coming over to your house. <laughs> that's awesome. Just regular empty train station. Oh, well, that's fun to watch the trains, though. They go by so fast. I just, I love it. Um, there was a TV show that talked about, uh, I guess it was the Carnegie and, like, buying the trains and how they all worked. And I thought it was fascinating. I love American history and, you know, all that industrial age stuff. It's really fun. Well, you guys, enjoy the fire pit. Please eat some marshmallows for me. That just sounds so good. And uh, especially in this, like, fall weather. I'm in Georgia. I'm in the western part of Georgia. Um, about two and a half months ago, my husband and I moved out to West Georgia. Um, my husband's a pastor, so he um, got transferred out here. And it is very different from what we're used to. We're used to the city. But um, we love it. It's quiet. Oh, s'mores galore. Come on now. You make me like <laughs> You're a worship leader. That's awesome. Yes. Oh my goodness. Please follow me. I'm going to follow you too after this is over. Um, okay. I've got your name. 
Um, yeah, I was a worship leader for a huge church before we moved. Um, but you know, when, when it's time to go, it's time to go. So, um, this morning, <laughs> I have to tell you this, this morning, um, our pianist was gone and this church is like really small. I mean, it's like there were maybe 40 people there this morning and, uh, it's a country church, you know? So, um, the accompanist, Oh yeah, then please follow me because I talk about tips and everything to make it really easy for you. Um, and I also teach online voice lessons if you're ever interested in that. We can have a free, oh good, we can have a free consult if you want. Um, you can email me at info at personalizedvoicelessons.com. Um, but uh, the pianist was out today, so we had the tracks for <laughs> for all the music. Oh, it was, it was so painful, um, but that's okay. Every The church members are so great, so we had a lot of fun. All right. Well, um, I am going to... I'm going to mow the lawn now, but um, if you just joined, thank you for joining. Please catch the rebroadcast, and you know what? I'll recap for you. I'm so glad you came on the scope that I'm going to recap for you. Um, my name is Catherine Webster. I'm a voice teacher. I teach online voice lessons, and um, my website is personalizedvoicelessons.com, um, and we're talking about goal setting, so we're going to write down three goals for this week, three music goals that we want to accomplish, and we're going to write down three ways to accomplish each of those goals. And you're going to think about, if you want, a couple of people that can help you achieve each of those three goals. So three goals, three ways to accomplish those goals, and a couple of people who can help you get there. All right. The gnats are coming out. I'm going to mow this lawn because it is way too high. I know. Oh. And this is an old school mower. Y'all want to see this mower? It is so old school. It came with this house. It can't, we're in a parsonage. I have to show you this mower. It is, I think it's from the 70s. Hang on. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna mow with. Hold on. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the mower. I need to name it. Y'all can help me think of a name for it. <laughs> it kinda looks like a grasshopper, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? Oh great, and there's my dog and, the... Obi, get out of there. There's ants 